Here's Mad Men Season 6, Episode 7, titled A Man With A Plan. Uh, this is an episode about male ego, male insecurity, male power, male competition. And uh, the episode starts as the merger begins and Roger Sterling fires Burt Peterson for the second time. So basically remember season episode, uh, season 3, Episode 1, Burt Peterson gets fired and he goes kind of crazy at the original uh, Sterling Cooper and then now Roger's doing it again and Roger's getting a kick out of it he gets a joy out of it because he is in control and he wants Burt Peterson to go because Burt Peterson has clients Burt Peterson is in competition with uh, with Roger and Roger wants him to go away because just he doesn't want another Pete out of his hand so he just gets get, lets him go and it's kind of like gets a little joy out of him and of course you have Don competing with um, his his you know his old old art nemesis uh, Ted Shaw who in the mergers now they're they're basically partners they're equals and how Don kind of gives his little power trip about it's all if you also remember uh, season one when Don in uh, has a thing with Roger where they where Roger makes a pass at Betty and, and Don wants uh, his power back so Don takes them to a restaurant they drink a lot of uh, martinis and they drink oysters and they walk up the steps and Roger's the one who uh, who throws up and of course Don is still looking pretty and Don knows that he's got that high tolerance for things and that's how he gets his control back and Ted Shaw who's kind of a bigger guy kind of it's kind of perplexed by Don because it seems like a big, a big waste of time and that's what it does too but if the key of this episode is about Don and his mistress and Don uh, taking his mistress to a hotel room and kind of controlling her it's like the metaphor of like leaving forcing her to stay in the hotel room and bringing her her dress and bringing her food and etc is that she's in a box she's stuck in a box while Don can go out and do his job and do his work and he can control his, his uh his his mistress and it's sort of like how he wants to control his wife but his wife is an independent person who's got her own career and it's kind of the irony of what a male it's kind of like the madonna whore complex in kind of a power trip way where where men a lot of men basically love the, the independence of a woman but then as soon as they, they get the woman who's independent they want to keep them in the box and keep them the same because if you're stuck in a box you can't fly away and, and have wings but of course it, it does a detriment to Don because as soon as she kind of realizes after a couple of days staying in the box that she wants to go off and, and uh, she doesn't want to be Don's little slave and that's what Don is being affected by the merger and the power it's like he's finally got his emotions back but those emotions go carry a long way and the other subplot is like Pete Campbell being being uh, consumed by his mom his mom's uh, kind of craziness or his mom's kind of like going a little bit senile and Pete kind of losing control of the office too it's a classic merger episode where mergers when you it, it helps out the the above the line people in a lot of ways because they make more financials but of course everybody when you merge two companies together people are there's a lot of people doing the same work so of course a lot of cuts have to happen and and basically of course when the merger happens as well those type a personalities clash and it's like how the male ego kind of deals with it in many ways and of course the ending of the episode is that we learned we knew we saw coming is the bobby kennedy assassination on television and it's almost like a simple simple uh, uh symbolism and metaphor to what what the new kind of order is where it's like there it's an episode about control and that's what and but that was the opposite of what Bobby Kennedy Kennedy's rhetoric was about Bobby Kennedy was a was extreme liberal in many ways he lacked he hated control he went after the unions because well the corruption of the unions because of control he wanted fairity he want he was all about minority rights and he was going to be the future president in so many different ways like it was it you kind of saw it coming and then of course simplicity the the Nixon era was about keep it giving the control back to the to the to the to the to the establishment and making sure that they had certain control and of course you saw Nixon's like kind of legacy go as it were or were so basically what we're saying is at the end of the 60s while there's so much independence while there's so many hippies and in liberalism and freedom there's the other side of it and we kind of saw the other side of it in the 1968 of may of 1968 with this episode kind of a great episode uh sorry for being long-winded with my theories that's my review